Hi everyone, today I would like to explain to you the topic of drug discovery. In this video, we will investigate into the process of drug discovery in detail. The process of drug discovery is a lengthy and a complex journey that involves several stages. It begins with the identification of a potential therapeutic target and ends with the final approval of a new drug by regulatory agencies. Typically, the drug discovery process takes over a decade and costs billions of dollars. Here are the primary stages of the drug discovery process. First is the target identification. The first step is to identify a molecule or a protein involved in a disease pathway that serves as the target. The identification process can be achieved through studying the molecular basis of the disease. This way, a key protein is identified that plays a key role in the progress of the disease. Then comes the target validation. Once the target has been identified, it needs to be validated to ensure that it is a suitable target for drug development. This involves testing the target's role in disease progression and determining whether inhibiting or activating the target will be effective in treating the disease. Next is the hit identification. Researchers screen large chemical libraries or use computational methods to identify potential drug candidates that bind with the target. These initial compounds are known as HITs. In this stage, various in vitro assays, virtual screening and molecular dynamic simulations can be performed to identify the HITs. The next step is the lead optimization. The lead compound from the heat molecules is further optimized to improve its efficacy, safety and pharmacokinetic properties with the goal of identifying a clinical candidate. The clinical candidate is a compound that has demonstrated efficacy and safety in preclinical studies and is suitable for testing in humans. The next step is the preclinical testing. Before a drug candidate can be tested in humans, it undergoes preclinical testing, including in vitro and in vivo studies, to evaluate its pharmacological properties, toxicity, and safety. The next stage is the stage of clinical trials. Clinical trials evaluate the efficacy and the safety of the drug candidate in humans and are conducted in three phases. Phase 1 trials involve a small number of healthy volunteers and are designed to assess the safety and pharmacokinetics of the drug molecule. Phase 2 trials involve a large number of patients and are designed to evaluate the drug's efficacy and safety in the target population. Phase 3 trials involve a larger number of patients and are designed to confirm the drug's efficacy and safety in a larger population. The next stage is the regulatory approval. If a drug candidate successfully completes clinical trials and demonstrates safety and efficacy, it can be submitted for regulatory approval. Regulatory agencies such as FDA in the United States review the data and decide whether to approve the drug for use in the market. The next step is the post-market surveillance. After a drug candidate is approved, it is continuously monitored for safety and efficacy in the general population to detect any adverse effects that were not identified during the clinical trials and to ensure that the drug remains safe and effective over time. These are the key stages in the drug discovery process and all these stages require significant resources in terms of money as well as in terms of time. I hope this video was helpful in understanding the stages involved in drug discovery. We will be discussing more interesting topics in our future upcoming videos. So stay tuned and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you and take care.